good cold Monday morning to you. I don't know where you're watching this or where you are, but here in Tallahassee, it is cold outside for one of the first times all year, so we're really excited about that. Listen, this morning I wanted to talk about breathing. I have this app on my watch um, that reminds me to breathe like every so often during the day. And to be honest with you, it's always at those times when I like really don't want to take a minute and just breathe. But all of the times that I do, I actually feel a sense of calmness and security in the midst of that. And uh, it's just an interesting thing because it just reminds me, I guess maybe when my heart rate is up or something like that, it just reminds me to take a second and breathe. And so every once in a while, I think about breathing. What does it mean to breathe? Why do we breathe? I'm a singer, and so I think about breath all of the time. In the spiritual sense, I think of breathing all of the time, and more than just in the scientific way of we need breath in order to survive. I mean, I think with the coronavirus, we've thought about that a lot, as this is an upper respiratory illness. Uh, but, but breathing spiritually is so indwelled, not only within the scriptures, but who we are as people. When God creates Adam, God breathes life. The scripture tells us God breathes life. Second Timothy talks about uh, all scripture being god breathe. Breath is this, this, this central theme to what's going on there. Uh, David in Psalm 150 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. In, in John 20, it talks about be, being breathed in and the Holy Spirit. And oftentimes when the Holy Spirit comes into the room in the scripture, it's talked about in this sense of wind and air. Breath is important not only for us as people, but also as Christians. Breath is everything. And so in this time, as we, you know, go up in the next couple of days to this uh, mess of, a, of, a, of an election and, and mess of a societal change and all that's going to go on here, I, I just want to encourage you today, this morning, before we start into that week, just stop and breathe. If, you, if you're going to the voting uh, places t tomorrow or today, I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, go ahead and, and vote. But, but before you do, instead of voting out of anger or frustration or whatever, all of the emotions that are going to go along with this, vote be after having breathed. Give yourself a chance to just stop, collect yourself, and breathe. And, and maybe we can do that right now and here. Just maybe with me, just close your eyes. Hopefully you're not driving while you're watching this. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose and then out. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Breath is the source of all life and it comes from God himself. So as we go into this week, be encouraged and discipline yourself a little bit just to stop and breathe. We'll see you soon.